Hello everyone. So this is Dr. Ribesh Dibora. Now I'm going to start a lecture series on the subject abstract algebra. <clears throat> and this lecture series will cover almost all of the topics that are included in abstract algebra of different universities. Okay, and today I'll start with the topic groups. So let's come to the definition of group. What is group? You know, we denote group by Z. Okay, and this group uh, Z is defined with respect to an operation. You will see that this is star symbol. Okay. So a group Z star is a set Z that is closed under a binary operation star such that some, some of the properties to be satisfied with respect to this. Okay. So what are those properties? Let's see. Associativity, associativity, you know, for all A, B, C belongs to Z, we have A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. So this bracket defines the operations to be performed with respect to which elements first. Means in the first case, you will see what? You will see that this A star B, let's uh, take this one. A star B will perform this operation. And then the result will be operated with C, means that the result of A star B will be uh, means done, uh, will be uh, means operated, uh, whether this operation is plus or minus or star or division that operation will be performed with C. So first will perform the operation with respect to A star B, A, B, and whatever the output will get, that will be done, that will be operated with C. And as part of associativity rule, this will be same as A star B star C, means here, B star C will be performed first, and that output or that result will be operated with A, with respect to this operation. If these two are equal, then we'll see, we'll say that the associativity rule is satisfied. Right, is it okay? Okay, then we come to the next property that is identity element E for star. So there is an element in E in Z such that for all X belongs to Z, we have what we have E star X is equal to X star E is equal to X. Means whatever the element X is, if you multiply or whatever the operation this, is this star is, okay, with E, then you will get the same result. That is X. Just you can consider E as one. When you multiply one with any number, say one into one, one into two, one into three, Okay, what output you will get? That number itself, right? So that element, doesn't matter that this is E or whatever the element is, that element should present in this set Z. Okay, so that we'll have E star X is equal to X star E is equal to X. Got it? What love hai ki koi bhi element wo E aisa hona sahi hai, jiske saath aap is Z ka koi bhi element ke saath multiply karo, matlab jo bhi operation hai, ye mein nahi bol rao ki multiplication hi ho sakta hai, ye koi bhi operation ho sakta hai, thik hai? So, aapko ultimately wohi number milega, right? Whatever the element X is, when you done the operation star with E, then you will get the element X itself. So, that is what that is, E is the identity element for 
सी ओके विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू अपरेशन स्टार ठीक है आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज व्हाट इनवर्स ओके इनवर्स ए स्टार ऑफ ए अब ये क्या है फॉर इस ए बिलोंग्स टू सी देयर इज एन एलिमेंट ए स्टार that is a des how the way you pronounce you may choose by your own one i can pronounce it as a des okay in z such that a star a des is equal to a des cross a means that star a is equal to this means what when you have an element a in z okay when you have an element ए इन सी ये ए कुछ भी हो सकता है कोई भी एलिमेंट हो सकता है इसके रेस्पेक्ट पे आपको एक एलिमेंट ए दस मिलेगा जिसके साथ ये ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म करने से आपको क्या मिल जाएगा अल्टीमेटली आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट जो आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट मैंने अभी को पार्टी टू में और एक्शियम टू में डिफाइन किया था सो आई एम रिपीटिंग इट अगेन दैट वॉट एवर द एलिमेंट यू कंसिडर फ्रॉम ग्रुप जी ए then you will get another element a des in z so that a star a des is equal to e and a star a is also equal to e theek hai to inverse wo element hai inverse is that element okay jiske sath wo operation jo humne group ke sath consider kiya hai perform karne se aapko kya mil jayega identity element so inverse of a is that element a des so that a star a des is equal to a star a is equal to e i hope this inverse property is clear to you right so ye teen axioms actually one more axiom is there that you have to consider what that is i'm not writing here but you have to know that is known as closer property okay so in normal cases we have to consider that closer property also okay don't worry i will begin i will start the board presentation also then this thing will be more clear to you okay so bear me bear for few lectures with respect to this digital when she is a virtual learn virtual board okay i'll very soon start my own analog one okay so closer property is what for any element a and b of z then a star b should belongs to z sorry this means uh ye jo bhi a aur jo bhi b hai in dono ko operation karke jo bhi aapko element milenge that should also belong to what that should also belongs to your z okay so that is known as closer property i hope i hope this is clear to you so what are the axioms i have defined is first one is closer okay then next one is associativity then next one is identity and that's the th last one is the inverse so if star is a binary operation and if, if this all these axioms are satisfied then we will say that set z will be a group with respect to star and why i have not defined closer in the first case because i have already mentioned that a group z star is a set that is closed under binary operation such that this three properties are agar main yahan pe close nahi bolta to aapko a closer property define karna padta but abhi maine close define kiya hai close bola hai to aapko kya hoga ये डिफाइन करने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि ऑलरेडी आई हैव मेंशन हियर क्लोज ओके तो कोई भी एक ग्रुप का डेफिनेशन मैं ऐसे बोल सकता हूं कि एक ग्रुप जी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू स्टार इज दैट सेट जी व्हिच इज सेटिस्फाइंग द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्लोजर एसोसिएटिविटी आइडेंटिटी एंड इनवर्स और ये सारे प्रॉपर्टीज आई होप इज क्लियर टू यू राइट नाउ एग्जाम्पल्स एग्जाम्पल्स के लिए आप नेक्स्ट क्लास के तक वेट करना पड़ेगा आई विल शो यू द एग्जाम्पल इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास एज दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सीरीज 
and under mathematics, what portion, what uh, subject I have considered, that is abstract algebra. And in this mathematics series, I will try to cover all the subjects, important subjects like abstract algebra, coordinate geometry, linear algebra, real analysis, each of the important subjects that is found almost all the universities post curriculum. Okay, so you may comment for me in this common using this common box for any suggestion or any topics that you want to discuss with. But I'll continuously manage present this lecture to complete the abstract algebra syllabus as soon as possible. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, thank you. We will be meeting in the next lecture of this mathematics series. Till then, bye-bye, take care.